Hello! How are my cutie cues doing today? Mm -hmm. I missed you so much. Today we are having two rotisserie chickens. You guys, I have been trying to get a rotisserie chicken for a couple of weeks now, but they just haven't been looking right. I don't like the ones from Walmart. I don't like the ones from Costco. And I only like the ones from Boston Market. But if they don't look good, I won't get it. These look gorgeous. They have a beautiful, 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 beautiful um, glaze. Like, what do you call that? Um, is it like a glaze? Like a, the seasoning, it just all gets crystallized on the chicken. And it's like that on both of them. I have some um salt and vinegar seasoning that i'm gonna put on one of them i have some honey that i'm gonna put on the other one we have some hot sauce here oh did i forget my drink yes hold on i have a tea from boston market mm. you guys really should consider transferring over to the glass straws I got a whole bunch of glass straws from Amazon because I don't want to use plastic anymore. And it just, the, the, the glass straws really make your drinking experience so much better. I don't know what it is. I don't know if it's because you're doing something new. I don't know what it is, but I really like it. So today, you guys, we're going to talk about Kanye West. We have some cutie Q sauce. I didn't get a lot of cutie Q sauce because I really just want the flavor of the honey and, um, the hot sauce and the lemon pepper or whatever if I feel like putting lemon pepper on it. But today's discussion is going to be on Kanye West. And um, I want to know you guys' opinion on it. I want to know you guys' opinion on Kanye West. If you don't know, Kanye West, he is um, showing his love for Jesus Christ. Um... And I feel like it's been, ha I would say, I don't know how long he's been on his journey, but I feel like I've been seeing this journey for about maybe, I think I first saw it in March. I think I first saw it in March. And I'm going to be honest about my opinion. I'm going to be honest about how I felt, how I viewed him, where I am now. And I want to know what you guys think as well. So let's get into this food also you guys it is sunday i'm chilling i got lounge clothes on i didn't feel like putting makeup on let's put like some lip gloss on so please excuse my face hopefully it's not too offensive and i'm excited about this chicken y'all oh my gosh this chicken this chicken is gonna look so good gonna be so delicious i just want to put like some honey oil on it Oh my gosh. Uh, and I like, you know what's really good, you guys? Um, syrup on turkey. My mom on Thanksgiving, like she used to put like, cook it with syrup. Mmm! So good. Got me excited for Thanksgiving. But, let's get into this. I'm going to start eating a little bit. And... We gonna get into it. I'm hungry too. Happy Sunday to you guys. Hope you guys had a great weekend so far. Mmm. I guess I'm gonna have to pull it apart because I don't have any silverware or anything. All right, so Kanye West. So I found out in March that Kanye um I don't know if he's been a Christian or been religious this whole time. But Kanye West is a rapper, and none of his music, I don't think, has ever been to glorify God. Um, except maybe Jesus Walks, I don't know. 
I'm not a fan. I'm not a fan of Kanye. I don't have an issue with him, but I've never been a fan of him, so I really don't know. I don't know like his fans would know. But he started he started doing like Sunday services every Sunday. And it started getting bigger and bigger and pastors and celebrities and a lot of different people would come to his services and support him. And, you know, follow his every move, everywhere he goes. He goes somewhere new every week. Um, I don't know if he wants to be a pastor or... I don't know exactly what he's trying to do. But... He has a lot of people talking. And in the beginning, I'm going to be honest, I did judge Kanye just like everybody else did because I felt like is he playing with God like what is he trying to do is he doing this for sales a lot of people were saying he's doing it for he's trying to build a new cult and you know he's crazy and what made me want to talk about this is because I saw Harriet last night the new movie Harriet and I just want to say, like, if God puts something on your heart to do and people look at you a certain type of way already and then you do something outside of your normal, uh, of your normal routine, people are going to look at you like you're crazy. They're going to say all types of stuff about you. And sometimes God puts you in a position um mm. maybe you'll be in a position where you'll be judged for what you do and that relates to Harriet Tubman What she did was courageous. It was radical. It was crazy to a lot of people. You know, she was considered a criminal, a terrible person to a lot of people. But that's the thing about it. When God puts you in a position or tells you to do something, it doesn't really matter what anybody else thinks or anybody has to say about it. Um, that's how I feel about Kanye. I was a little taken back at first because I'm like, okay, is he, what is he doing? Does he want attention? You know, I hope he's being serious. I hope he has a genuine heart. But I had to think to myself, like, it's not up to me. It's not, my opinion is irrelevant. Everybody's opinion is irrelevant. Um, you can't tell nobody what they're supposed to do for God. You can't, you don't know any, first of all, we don't know his heart. God knows his heart. So there's a lot of people that are throwing stones at him. Um, by him just doing what he's doing and they don't believe that he is sincere because his previous lifestyle his previous, um, you know, records that he's sold and his lifestyle and his, who he's married to and just a lot of different things. Um, they don't think that he is being sincere. But at the end of the day, no matter what you or I think, it is what God thinks. 
And I'm not here to preach to anybody today. Um, but I just feel like we have no right to judge this man. No matter what your opinion is, God didn't call you to do it. If he, if he believes that God called him to do it, then God called him to do it. Whether you think he's crazy or not. And a lot of people like throwing that crazy word around. This person's crazy, that person's crazy, but... They always call um, people who change the world eventually crazy. They always, they always do that. I don't know what it is about me, but something that really touches my heart is when I see people being kind to people that society says are nobodies, that society says they're losers, they are a number, they're a statistic, they're whatever. And I don't know, when I see people being kind to people that are less fortunate, or made some mistakes in their life, it just really touches my heart. And when I saw that he went into the prisons, he went into a male's prison and a female's correctional facility recently and had a whole performance. He sang a few of his songs on his new album, Jesus is King. And at the end of the day, the man is doing something positive. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's crazy how, like, if you're doing good, they're going to talk about you. If you're doing bad, they're going to talk about you. If you do something for your religion, they're going to talk about you. If you are mean to people, they're going to talk about you. It's like literally you cannot do anything to please people. You know? But I am proud of Kanye. I'm happy for him. I can't judge somebody, somebody's salvation. Like, who are you to judge somebody's salvation? Who are you to say that somebody hasn't learned from their past mistakes? Who are you to say that somebody can't come back from a negative place? Or they can't change? Anybody can change. Anybody can change and make better decisions. And there's always people pointing the finger at somebody and they forget that you can't point fingers when you live in a glass house. Uh. Excuse me. I don't think he's trying to build a cult, a cult following. I just feel like, you know, I mean, I hope and pray that he's, you know, his heart is in the right place. But that's not up to me to worry about that. That's not up to me to worry about that. What y'all think? At least he's doing something, you know? And they try to use his mental illness against him. Like because he has whatever his issue is. I don't even know what his issue is. But because he has mental illness. That he can't be a good person. Or that he can't change the world. 
and he can't make good decisions. I think that's sad. I hope he keeps going. When you can give a homeless person hope, when you can give somebody that's been in jail for so long on death row, life in prison, in prison, when you can give people like that hope, and make them want to change or make them look at their life and want to be a better person. I don't need to see anymore. <laughs> and he has a lot of um a lot of support from celebrities. I saw today that he was at Joel Osteen's church. Um some people have an opinion about Joel Osteen, but I mean, my man is doing something positive at the end of the day. No matter how you feel. It's always the ones that are sitting on their couch doing absolutely nothing. They have the most opinion about everybody else and what everybody else is doing. But you've done nothing to change the world. You've done nothing to be positive. You've done nothing to change your life. But yet Kanye is a terrible person because he's, you know, showing his love for his, his, his savior, Jesus Christ. There's nothing wrong with that. Tell me down below what y'all think. Even when you think about, even when I think about my, my first memories of Kanye, he's always been special. He's always been different um, in a positive way. And I do think that um, the death of his mother really took a toll on him mentally, which that is completely understandable. I, I would probably... I know I wouldn't be myself. Um, and people go through things. People go through things and he is in an industry that a lot of people will get chewed up and spit right back out and not be able to handle it. He's in an industry where anybody can go crazy and people have gone crazy. Um, I don't think Kanye is a bad person. Um, but I commend him, but I really take my hat off to him. And I think that he is an amazing person to be able to keep going. Even when everybody is telling you that you're crazy, you don't need to be doing that. You looking crazy and, you know, they're saying that he's doing a call and he's just trying to, you know, do all kinds of crazy stuff for attention. I think that is, that speaks volumes, and I think that is absolutely amazing. The only song that I can think of is, um... Jesus Walks. I mean, I remember that song. I thought that was like a rap gospel song. Um, I mean, he said it in his lyrics before. 
that Jesus walks with him. So yeah, that's my little two cents on it. I don't I don't think my little two cents on Kanye and what he's doing I hope and pray that his heart is in the right place but if his heart is not in the right place that's not my concern it's not my business um but you know to use who he is use his platform he's doing things that people would never do that a lot of people would not do to with their career and I take my hat off to him for that. You got to respect it. At the end of the day, you got to respect that. And like I said before, you got my heart. You got me. When you can make somebody that is at their lowest point in life. At their lowest point in life. And everybody has turned their back on them. Everybody has criticized them. They are looked at as a menace to society. They are looked at as a number. They are looked at as a nobody. They're looked at in many different ways. And that's exactly what happens when people go to jail. They are looked at as a number, a nobody, a criminal, or whatever. And everybody deserves to feel loved. Everybody deserves to feel like a human. Like a human. And I'm just happy to witness it. I hope he keeps going. And I hope he changes the world. And I hope he changes many people's lives. I'll never understand that. You make terrible mistakes. They're going to tell you that you're a terrible person. You change your life around. They tell you what you did as a terrible person. Like, it, it, it. When God has an assignment for you to do, it is not up to anybody. It's not up to anybody else. Oof. Mm. So good, you guys. I wanted some cucumbers with it, but forgot and this season has been sitting in my car because I put this lemon pepper on my popcorn at the, at the uh, movies and it's very good But yeah, you guys, it is so easy to point the finger at somebody else and tell how, tell somebody else how much of a terrible person that they are when in reality, you know, you haven't looked at yourself, you know? 
and I had to check myself for even thinking those things about him when I don't even know the situation. I don't know what conversations he's had with God. I don't, I don't, I wasn't there when he was praying. I wasn't there when God put it on his heart to do what he's doing. But yeah, you guys, I want to have a discussion. What do you guys think? What was your initial thought when you saw Kanye West doing what he's doing? Did you think he was full of crap? Did you go with it right away? Did you jump on later on? Are you still on the fence? Do you still think he's full of crap? Don't ever let nobody make you feel like you can't change. You can change the moment you decide to change. Your life has changed. It's changed behavior that makes, that lets you change. If you keep doing the same thing over and over again, then yeah, but if you say, you know what, I don't like that I did that. I don't like that I'm this type of person. I want to change. And you don't do it anymore and you move forward with your life, you've changed. Don't let anybody keep you in your mistakes. Especially if God forgave you. If God forgave you, you need to forgive yourself. And don't worry about what nobody else got to say about it because it's like their opinion is irrelevant. To your life and to your future you can change if you choose to change I'm gonna eat this skin I do like the skin Yeah, um, shout out to Kanye West on what he's doing. Um, I'm proud of him. I'm happy that I'm witnessing this. It just, it's amazing. It is truly, truly, truly amazing to see him do this. And I don't think he's faking. I don't think he's faking. I think Kanye spent his whole career searching and he said it and you can actually even see it if you look at his career you can see it he said that he was searching high and low for something to satisfy his spirit and to satisfy him cars clothes jewelry money uh women numbers and i've learned that Numbers don't end. So if you search, if, if you want money, 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 numbers, 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 numbers don't end. So your, your, your pursuit of happiness through money and through numbers is never going to come because numbers don't end and you'll never be happy. And I've also learned that money does not buy happiness. And he said that. He had everything. Think about it. Think about it. Like, this man has everything. He has access to everything, resources, um, 
friendships, celebrity friendships, just everything, all kinds of stuff. Endorsements, shoe lines, money, cars, clothes, everything, you name it. Everything that anybody would probably want. That a lot of people feel like they want. And it didn't satisfy his soul. A lot of that stuff, a lot of these material things, they are temporary happiness. And you're going to keep wanting more and more and more and more and more. Because your your spirit is so empty and you're searching for something through material things and it's never going to come. And now that he is saying that he has found his purpose and his spirit is being fed through uh, Jesus Christ and his religion and everything. I think that's beautiful. I think that's beautiful. That is a perfect example of materialistic things don't make you happy. They don't make you happy. Look at people that are so have so much, so much money, so much success. A lot of them are just so miserable. They're sad. They're going through a lot. They have broken relationships. They are not happy in their their relationships. They're not they're not happy in their friendships. Um, and even when you get to that to such a high level, you don't even know who your real friend is half the time because you don't trust anybody. At that point, you know, you're questioning, do you like me for me or do you like me for who I am and what I can do for you and my status and who I am? You know, so that that's a tricky thing as well. And we all are fighting and battling our own demons. And Kanye West is somebody that we have seen him battle his demons in the public eye for so many years. Um, mistakes that he's made. Um, wonderful accomplishments that he's ac wonderful accomplishments that he has made in his life, and I, I think everybody should get to a place of peace in their life. Everybody deserves to have peace in their life, and at the end of the day, that's what we all should be searching for: peace and happiness and love and the things that money can't buy. You know, good relationships with family, good relationships with friends um love think about it think about it there are people with so much money that you couldn't even imagine and they are ready to let it all go and just die and you would think dang like you have everything why would you want to die why would you want to take your life why would you want that but it is emptiness it leaves a void so the next time you look at somebody's life and say, oh my gosh, I really wish I had their life. I really wish I had a lot of money. I really wish I had this. I really wish I had that. Think about it. Think about it. Because everything that glitters, everything that glitters is not gold. And we have been told time and time again that money doesn't buy happiness, but we ignore it. We forget about it because it's always glorified. Numbers are always being glorified. Materialistic things are always being glorified. I have this much money. I have that much money. I have, you know, I have sold this amount of records. I drive this car. I drive that car. And I, and don't get me wrong. I love nice things. There's absolutely nothing wrong with nice things. There's nothing wrong with driving in a nice car and living in a nice luxury lifestyle. There's absolutely nothing wrong with that. If you work hard, and you absolutely deserve to live the life that you want. But the point that I'm making is that it doesn't buy happiness. It's a temporary void. And the things that we should be searching towards is spirituality. Whatever your spirituality is, whatever your religion is, whatever makes you happy spiritually, whatever feeds your soul. And I'm proud of Kanye because they have constantly torn him down and through his mental illness and in his face and sanity's crazy and saying how can i call somebody crazy and i don't know what kind of life i don't know about that lifestyle i don't know what's going on in hollywood i don't know what's going what it's like to be a, a um a, a recording artist in, in the music industry and if you ask me i think the music industry can be very demonic so I don't know what kind of spirits and stuff that them people go through. I don't. I really, I don't know. I got a little taste of it, but I really, I don't. I don't know what they deal with on a daily basis. 
and I'm not trying to make this, this video, I'm not going to make this video deep, but the point that I'm trying to make is love yourself, love the things that you have now. Um, don't look at anybody's life and say, oh my gosh, I wish I had that life or I wish I had this, I wish I had that because you don't know what these people are dealing with in their mind, mentally, mental, like your mental health is so important. <clears throat> and I would rather have my mind than have a whole bunch of money. I would rather have, you know, I would rather have that. I would rather have a peaceful mind, being able to sleep at night, being able to come home, love my family, and, and know that they love me and be happy than dealing with fake relationships fake love i mean that's all a part of it you know what i'm saying when you're a celebrity that's all a part fake love is all a part of it you know what i'm saying because one minute you're up everybody loves you next minute you're down it's like crickets <laughs> that's real mm. Y'all gotta get these glass straws. These glass straws are so bomb. But I love you guys so much. I hope you enjoyed today's video. I actually enjoyed talking about this topic. Shout out to Kanye West. I hope he keeps going. And not let his mental health stop him. Not let what anybody else has to say stop him. Not letting what people project on him stop him. Labels and all types of stuff stop him. I'm very proud of him. He is obedient to God. If he feels that this is what God told him to do, then this is what God told him to do. I mean, he's not doing anything to hurt anybody. He's not doing anything. Because there are people who say God told them to do something, but they ended up hurting somebody else. But from what I can see, Kanye is not hurting anybody. And he feels that God has told him to do this. So I'm very proud of him. And um, we should be looking at him um i don't know tell me what y'all think down below i love you guys so much don't give up on yourself don't give up on your dreams you are not what people call you you are not the labels that people project on you you are not any of that you are what you tell yourself and you are what god tells you you are okay so i want you guys to remember that look at kanye west's life and use him as an example that you can come from anything you can come back from anything. If you feel like you made mistakes, we all have. We've all made mistakes. We've all done things that we're not proud of. But you can come back from that. And I'm, I'm proud of him. I'm very proud of him. Let me know what y'all think down below. I love you so much. And I'll see you guys tomorrow for another video. Bye. Mm.